Introducing the CS730 coin sorter from shopstuff.co.uk. This machine is ideal for shopping centres, uh, for car park machines or vending machines within the centre itself. It can also be used to count floats as well. Uh, the, this machine, as we mentioned before, is the 730 machine and features the flip down drawers. These are ideal if you bag your coins into the small bank bags. Uh, if you want to bag in larger quantities, we also do a pull-out tray system and these can hold somewhere in the region of about £251 coins. The third model in the, in the range is a CS740 and that has a bag hanger. So this is designed to come onto the front of the machine and hang down in place of these and can be fitted with cloth bags or the large uh, plastic bank bags so it can count, say for example, £501 in one go. To use the machine is very simple. In this case, we're using these pots to uh, simulate the car park uh, uh, cash boxes that have been emptied. Simply place the coins into the top tray. The stainless steel top tray allows you to look at the coins to see if there's any foreign bodies, but obviously the car parking machine should have emptied or sorted those previous to that. Press the start stop button. and the coins are counted. The machine after a while will automatically stop or we can simply just press the start the start button. By pressing enter we're given the option to add a operator. This is, could be the person that's actually doing the count. A location. This could be say for example a floor on which the car park machine is situated or vending machine. And also the meter number. So again the actual machine uh, if there's multiple meters on uh, different floors, but these can be used however you uh, see fit. Pressing the enter adds it to the total, and this can be set with the optional printer to either automatically print out if required. We then simply carry on with the next pot. Here you can see that the two pound bag is empty. To empty, we simply pull down the flip door, place it back into the situation, and press the restart button. The one pound is now ready to empty. And press the restart. The count will continue till all the coins have gone. If it doesn't like the look of a coin that is counted, it won't try and fit into the nearest thing, but will actually reject it. In this case, an old five pence piece. The machine will automatically stop, or we can press the stop start, and again, we can enter the operator number, location number, and meter number if required. Again, when pressed enter, this is added to a running total, and a printout is given. We can then simply go up to the cumulative value, and press the print button, and that will give us a total of both counts that have been done. Thank you for watching this video from shopstuff.co.uk.